What's up, Libra? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Libras out there are doing well. So let's get into this reading and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If you find this some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, you guys. So somebody here feels like they're on lockdown. Someone here can be feeling like they're in some type of mental prison. Like someone here is constantly in their head. They're overthinking. You know, or this could be someone who's in actually confined. Okay, this could be someone who's actually in jail here. But someone here feels like they're on lockdown. Now, there could be some boundaries that need to be set. So it's like someone here could be like making this person like maybe they feel restricted or they feel confined, maybe dealing with someone or a situation, but it's because they're needing to set some type of boundaries. So this could be you, Libra. Maybe you guys feel confined, you feel restricted, you know, in a way, or you maybe need to set some type of boundaries with someone, or this is how someone around your energy is feeling, okay? You can be dealing with someone, maybe there's a lot of mental anguish, okay? This is someone who's experiencing a lot of anxiety here because they're having to, having to do some type of financial support. Maybe they're having to support someone financially here. This could be paying child support. This could be alimony, okay? So somebody here could have been divorced or they're having to pay some type of money to the government. But this person feels like they have to take accountability for their actions. So this could be someone who's maybe having to pay some type of spousal support or even child support, but they feel like they have to take responsibilities for their actions. This could be concerning their family. So someone here may be doing what they feel they need to do, you know, for a family dynamic or to keep a family together here. Now, we also have someone who wants to put some type of offer on the table, okay? They want to make a proposal. They want to, you know what I'm saying, suggest something. But maybe at some point in time, this person was worried about what other people would think. So someone here maybe wants to make you some type of love offer, just make some type of offer, make some type of proposal, even a commitment to you guys. But they could have been more concerned about like what their family and friends or people around them were going to think if they did this, okay? Now, this could have been someone in the past who always knew how to get to you. So what I'm saying is like this person to piss you off or you weren't talking to this person, they always knew the right thing. So this could have been someone who was very charming, could have been a male or a female. You know, like this person would piss you off, make you mad, but it was like they always knew the right things to say to you to get you back here, okay? Then we have someone here who was dealing with a fake soulmate. So someone here may feel like, you know, they're having to support a family or maybe they need to set some boundaries with someone. And this could be with this fake soulmate that they're dealing with, okay? Someone who they feel like pull all the strings or call all the shots in this relationship or this marriage or whatever it is, okay? So let's pull on this fake soulmate. Let's see who this is that's involved in dealing with some type of fake soulmate here. If anything is resonating for you guys so far, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, Holy Spirit, so tell us about this fake soulmate for Libra. Messages for my Libras. I love you, Libra. So tell us about this fake soulmate, because we have someone here who was dealing with someone and maybe they thought they were meant to, you know, have a family and settle down. You know, they could have felt some type of blood connection to this person or this inner circle. You know, this could have been their family. They tried to have a family with someone, but this isn't the person that they were destined or they were supposed to be with here. OK, so let's look at this fake soulmate. All right. Ten of Wands. OK, so this has been a heavy burden. Whoever this person is, they're dealing with this fake soulmate. OK, they. This could be surrounding like a home dynamic, okay? Y'all see these houses in the background? So this could be concerning like a home dynamic. Like they should say they shared a home with this person, but it's really been like this heavy burden. Like someone here could be trying to, you know, take care of the family or do what they need to do. You, you know, maybe financially provide here, but it's like really this heavy burden. This could be also someone who's trying to release. This is what they could be thinking about right now. Like, man, if I didn't have to do this and I didn't have to do that, like, you know, this is unbearable stress. This person wouldn't have to carry on doing these things. This is someone who maybe has a lot of responsibilities, you know, or this weight or load that they're carrying, trying to support 
maybe someone because I'm getting the energy of with this financial support. They can be also financially supporting this fake soulmate. You know what I'm saying? They may not even be with this person. They may not even live with this person, but they're still financially supporting them in some shape, form or fashion here. OK, so this could be a male. This could be a feminine energy. All right. Tell us more about this fake soulmate. Some of you could be dealing with the sash. Don't have to be. Tell us more about this fake soulmate for Libra. All right, the real cups for some of you guys, this could be a third party. Okay, so you could be on a like twin flame journey with this person. This could be your person. But they fucked around and got involved with this three of cups. Okay, this is someone, like I said, this could be a third party who interfered in this connection that you share with this person. Okay, this could be someone they also financially take care of as well. This could be an outside influence that, you know what I'm saying, interfered or interrupted this connection that you share. This could be a cancer here. It don't have to be. Let's get one more on this fake soulmate. Messages for my Libras. Let's get one more on this fake soulmate. Messages for my Libras. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, y'all, in reverse. For some of you, this person could have been married to this person, okay? Like I said, they could have been financially supporting them. So they either could have married someone who maybe only wanted them for their money, you know, but this talks about... Right now, this person, they don't feel secure. They feel lost right now. They don't feel safe. You know, this is someone who family could be fighting over money. But this talks about this relationship of marriage. Everything this person had built with someone has come crashing down or crashing down, okay? And this could be why this person is in this lockdown energy. Because if you look at this person here, like, they look like, oh, my God. Like, you know, there's a lot going on mentally with this person, okay? And this could be explaining this ten of wands. But for some of you guys, like, they can't continue to carry on with this heavy load or trying to financially support someone here, okay? All right, so let's get the signs, you guys. So you could be dealing with a Cancer. We got Virgo, and we also have Sag. Messages for my Libras. Who is this reading about for my beautiful and my handsome Libras out there? We got heavy Libra, Scorpio, Taurus. Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, Sag. And we also have Capricorn, Scorpio, Virgo, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.